Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay from Sony Alpha Lab, and in this quick video, I just wanted to go over the Sony E-mount lenses, uh, what's currently available, and you know the differences between them because there's full frame E-mount and then there's crop factor E-mount, and they look a little bit different. So check this out on my website, SonyAlphaLab.com. I created this really awesome guide, and it'll help you through you know the decision making process because when you click on this guide basically just scroll down and it's going to explain the difference between full frame and APS-C. Now full frame cameras are cameras like the Sony A9, the A7R2, A7R3, A7 III, A7 II, A7S, um, those are all full frame E-mount cameras, okay? And then the APS-C, which is the crop factor, so the sensor is a little bit smaller. That one you're looking at, the Sony A6500, A6300, A6000, A5100, and also the Next 6, the Next 5, those are all crop factor, okay? So now when you're looking at the lenses, if you just scroll down here, I have it organized first by Sony, pretty much in order of popularity, but there are so many lenses available now, you can't even imagine. It's actually like overwhelming. So if you just come to this guide, you can scroll down, you can then look at all the different lenses. They're in order of focal length so the widest angle is going to be you know first so the first lens is the 28 millimeter and it takes these two conversion lenses that's what these two lenses are to the right and then after that of course you have the 35 millimeter now these are fe lenses because they're again full frame and notice here you have the fe right there meaning full frame e-mount all right and then if you scroll down here Oh, and of course I have the links to all the reviews underneath. If I reviewed the lens, it's gonna to go to my review, but if I didn't review the lens, it's just gonna to link to all the reviews on YouTube, which is nice and convenient for you. So if you keep scrolling down here, you could see all the different lenses. And now here's the crop factor lenses. So these are for like, again, the A6500, A6300. And if you scroll down, um, it's gonna show you all the different kinds. I got primes first, then I have the zoom lenses, variable zoom, all right? Then we have Zeiss full frame, we got autofocus, and we got manual focus. Now the Loxia series here is top quality optics, manual focus, but like super buttery smooth when you focus and things like that. So really high quality. And then if you keep scrolling down, you have the Towit lenses, Towit, I'm not exactly sure how you say it. And then if you scroll down, you got the Sigma full frame E-mount lenses, Sigma crop factor lenses. And then of course there's links to the cinema lenses which are different cinema lenses have gears on them and stuff so you can hook up focus racks and things like that um, so i didn't include those in this guide because most people aren't looking for that but if you are looking for cinema lenses click those links and it'll bring you to that specific area all organized for you and then you have tamron voigtlander not exactly sure how to say that word super super high quality optics full manual however but you know if you got the money and you and you enjoy manual focus that's a really good option. Then you have Handy Vision. Below that, you got Rokinon, a very affordable solution, and now they offer a lot of autofocus lenses. So this is a great low cost alternative to the Sony lenses and even the Sigma lenses. Sigma art lenses are really high quality. Sony GM lenses are super high quality. All right, so these autofocus lenses from Rokinon are basically the same as the Sam Yang lenses. They're pretty much identical. They're just branded different. But, you know, depending on the price, you know, some might be cheaper than others, but basically they're pretty much the same as far as I can tell. But then you have manual focus below that and there's a ton of those lenses to choose from. So if you're looking for an ultra wide angle, fast lens, look here, you have the 12 millimeter F2.8 lens. It's a fisheye, super fast. Then you got a 14 millimeter F2.8. Okay, so really fast wide lenses. And this one's even in autofocus. 14 millimeter F2.8 autofocus. That's an extremely fast lens and it's relatively cheap considering what you're getting. I mean, it's, it's 850 here, but if you actually go on the website, it's always on sale. It's usually hundreds of dollars off these lenses, okay? So keep that in mind when you're looking at these prices. Be sure to click on the link to check the latest prices, okay? And then reviews, boom, check the reviews out. Some of these lenses might not work for you. You know, whatever you're particularly doing, the reviews might say, you know, this lens sucks for, you know, ast astrophotography or whatever. So be sure to check those out. And if you keep scrolling down, there's even more lenses. We got Bauer, uh, similar to Sam Yang and Rokinon. You got Lens Baby, all sorts of weird lenses that Lens Baby makes for different applications. Then you also have some different lenses here. Metikan, Zion, I don't even know how to say that. But they have some really interesting uh, macro lenses and a super high speed F.95 aperture. 
50 millimeter for relatively cheap, $850, considering how fast that is. And then you have an 85 millimeter f1.2, extremely fast lens and high quality optically. And then you have Meyer Optic as well, more high quality optics, really, really high end stuff. Then you have Venus Optical. This is a newer brand of lenses and these are getting really good reviews, guys. So they're manual focus, but they have like zero distortion as their like claim to fame. So keep that in mind. Then there's another Venus here. This one is a super fast nine millimeter F 2.8 lens for the crop factor cameras. So if you're looking to do astrophotography with like a Sony a6300, this is one of your best options for a super wide angle, fast lens. All right. Then we have the seven artisans photoelectric full frame. Now these lenses are very interesting. They make a whole bunch of different kinds. You have full frame, you have this one here, which is a 35 millimeter F2. And then below that you have a whole bunch of crop factor lenses and they're really, really affordable, $139, 12 millimeter F2.8 for $188. Now, if you're on a budget, these are the lenses for you because they're manual focus. You're not going to get, you know, autofocus, but for the money, you, you, you just can't beat it. The reviews seem to be pretty good. I have not tried these lenses yet, but I wanted to make you aware of them because they're fairly new on the market. And then you have Tokinon. I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed saying these names. Yasiora, I don't even know how to say them. And then you have SLR Magic and you got some pinhole lenses below that. So this is the Sony E-mount lens guide that I really think will help you out if you're in the market for a new lens and you're not sure what to get. You wanna check the reviews, you wanna check the prices. Um, come to this guide and it'll really help you out, I think. And uh, of course, you can always ask me questions if you have questions. Don't be afraid to ask, I'll be happy to help. All right, guys, thanks. I'll catch up with you next time. Be sure to subscribe, check me out on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, you know, the main website, all that stuff, and I'll catch up with you later.